Howdy, y'all. Thank you for joining us today for this unboxing of a Kickstarter I just got in. It actually was for two games. It was this Circadian's First Light, second edition, which I'll be able to talk a little bit more about this one as I'm opening it up because I have played the first edition. And then the other part of the, and I'll do it on a separate video, was Circadian's Chaos Order. And I was going to do these together, but... We'll see how long it takes to do this one, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do these two separate ones because this feels like it's going to be a long one. This one's a very heavy box. But let's jump into it and we'll see how long this one takes to open up. All right. Oh, I guess I didn't show you the back or anything just in case this, you didn't see the first one. This is a game for one to four players, ages 12 plus, 60 to 90 minutes. It is a dice placement game. There's a lot you can see going on here. Um, but it's pretty simple. It's just I'm thinking they just cleaned up some errata for the second edition because it looks all the same to me. Um, the biggest thing is this is a Garfield games. So this is one of those games that I was going to back. Matter of fact, I did just back it without even second looking at it. I'm a big fan of the Garfield games. I love all of them. Um, but yep, so we got this one here, and let's get into it. Um, of course, it's the bigger box than the typical small box that the first edition came in that the Garfield games were doing for so long. All right, we got the rule book here right off the bat with the components. Shows you, because there was a pretty nice dice tray in the other one, so I'm sure this one's got the same dice tray, and it's showing you how to put everything back in there. We got the setup, two pages. The round structure, plan, wait, plan, oh yeah, reveal of it, blah, 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 plan your dice, basically, execute, basically doing your turns, looks like about four, five, six, about six pages, then you're going to harvest, and then see if the end game was triggered. And then it's got the solo play here. Four pages, and then we have a better description of the contract cards. All right, we do have the screens, which last time, these are bigger than ones from last time, I'm pretty sure, but I guess I can show you the full artwork that'll be on the screens here, and then show you the inside. It's got the player set up there to let you know you got everything you need. It's got the turn order. Basically, like, instead of having a player aid card, everything's right there. And then lets you know everything for end-of-game scoring. And this is really just to keep your resources hidden and as you're planning out where your dice are going to be placed. And there's one for each player here. And then we have some punch-outs, which are going to be the player boards, or the boards you can place on. We have the market here, the foundry. The laboratory, the mining camp, and I guess I just kept those in there. And then we have this, two of the alien races here, which you saw they do have different abilities on each side. And I know I punched those of those, I'm not going to worry about punching each of these. But you can see here, they got some tiles, which these go randomly. This punched out. <laughs> Not sure what that is actually. That looks like something new to me. But got some tiles here which will go randomly down there because they're goals for you to go for. You'll look, these are all the same, but then you hit them. And if you have control over it at the end of the game, you're going to get some victory points. So you get to look at them and know which ones have the most victory points. And then we have. The main board here, which I'll go ahead and punch that out. And some extra little dice placement spots you can put on your board individually. This is about making negotiations with alien races and whatnot. Those other races will go up here, let you know which ones you're working towards. Then we have the control room and academy. Bunch more dice placement spots for your personal board. And, oh, I guess they just did one for each of the AI. Interesting. Actually, maybe like that in the original. They just cleaned up the main player boards, 
And then the other side's got the, I'm assuming the bot for if you're playing solo, what you're playing against. And all these boards should be the same like, other than the back. And yeah, you can see it's different bot that you're playing against, Duska. And then we have the main board. And then we have the depository and the headquarters, which is the main board for placing dice. Just like in the original, we got some translucent, just D6s here. And these, I think, are exactly the same from the original. They're just plastic. These are like your harvesters. You're going to move them around on this board. And it's going to show you what you harvest wherever you're at. And then we have some wooden tokens and bits. Which we have some lightning or energy. We have some seaweed. Oh, it looks like we got small ones and large ones. That way you got the... And that was the same with the energy. That way you got the difference between ones and fives, probably. These look all the same size. I remember, right, those were like ore. Then we got water. Two different sizes. And then these are markers for on that board. You saw there were like little segments. And then I noticed this already when I was pulling those out. Looks like they made little trays to put each other's resources in. So you can just pull them out and have the trays already. Pretty cool. We got some cards which we'll take some closer looks at. And then we've got the trays in each corner. Make sure there's nothing underneath those and under the insert. All right, I'm assuming these are the characters and you can see they each have a character power. I wanna say this is a few more than what they had last time. Could be wrong about that though. I only played the other one a few times. And then next we have, I'm assuming this is the bot and how he reacts. And you can just see all the different things he's going to do. I'm going through those quickly because it is just the bot. So it's just going to be telling you, telling him what to do. And then this is the event deck where you're going to have a random event each turn. And it could be good, it could be bad. It's just something that just happens that affects the game in some way. Not many of those, though. And then these are kind of like things you can build. This is the majority of what the cards are. And I will go through each of these, but they're just things you can build. that, And it shows you the cost to build them right there. And they give you some type of bonus, basically, and they're worth victory points at the end of the game. So this is the thing I liked a lot in the game. Um, I like being able to build something that made me even more unique other than my player power. And then plus gave me some victory points for doing stuff. I like building buildings and stuff. And that's what this is. It's building things or just getting equipment, basically. All right, I'm not 100% sure if I got everything in here perfectly the way it said. Uh, you can see how there's space here. It does look like you're going to be able to sleeve this stuff. The only worry I have on the small cards with sleeving them, and I guess it's not a big deal because this should still stop it, is it looks like this will be higher than what this lip is right here once you sleeve it. But it does look like it should still be okay because it should just kind of stop them in there. And then this covers up this. And then only thing I wasn't sure about whether I do doing right in here was whether this goes down in here somehow. But I don't think so. I think this is to help keep the stuff that's compacted in there with this on top. And then I can just do something like such with the rule book. But cool. Still a nice tray all in all. Um, I like the little cups, so there we go. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.